Throughout this video, I am going to be talking about what I have learned from content publishing and how I'm going to apply that knowledge in the real world. I have always loved taking pictures and videos. I think I got it from my mom because she's constantly taking photos of my family, whether it's vacation, while we're working, up at the cottage, or just because we look cute. When you're younger, it is easy to get annoyed with someone always taking pictures or videos because you just want to run around and go wild, but now I have officially transitioned into being the person behind the camera. I love being able to permanently make an experience last forever, whether it is through a still shot or a video that captures the essence of a moment. Sunsets, trees blowing in the wind, my favorite people while we're out and about, my dog. Nature is definitely my favorite. There is so much beauty in the world that is very easy to miss if we're all too busy and not paying attention. Being on our phones too much, not wanting to leave the house, too focused getting from point A to point B. It's all about the journey. Content publishing has allowed me to understand and embrace what I enjoy doing. I always knew that I liked taking photos, I just never knew how to tell a story with them. Now after this class, I want people to be able to feel like they are with me on my journeys. Whether that be going out to a game or going out to eat. People who don't take photos all the time can easily give Photoshop a bad name. They think it only contributes to creating a false image or a fake scenario and that no one should ever trust it. Photoshop has given me the opportunity to produce the best pictures because there are some elements that we cannot always control. Some of those elements being bad weather, bad lighting, a bright orange pylon that we cannot move. Photoshop allowed me to adjust the brightness, the saturation, remove unwanted objects, to really allow the image to become the best version of itself. Up next, I am going to show you an example of an image that I thoroughly enjoyed editing and how I went about editing it in Photoshop. <laughs> project so as you can see from the picture um, unwanted people were removed like the man that was fishing people at the end of the pier some unwanted signage and posts um, were removed and then the parking lot where there was a whole lot of cars in the way um, you be I used the healing brush tool and with that I erased the cars so now it just looks like a nice even image with no obstructions in the way Another thing to touch upon that I learned from content publishing was actually from completing the Stukint Mimic Pro simulation. This simulation gave me the opportunity to successfully launch and manage multiple social media campaigns by creating content, analyzing data, managing a budget, and using social listening to engage actively with customers. And a perk of completing the social media simtermship um, Mimic Pro simulation is that you actually do get a certificate of completion for completing the project. So not only do I get to walk away with an abundance of knowledge for learning how to run my own social media campaigns, I also get the ability to post this certificate upon my resume or places like LinkedIn so that employers can also see it as well. So as the content publishing course comes to a close, 
Not only have my Photoshop skills gotten better, or I have now more knowledge in using platforms such as Premiere Pro, I now have certifications um, for Mimic Pro. I also did the Hootsuite um, free course that was offered through content publishing as well, so I have that certificate up on my LinkedIn too. I have a whole bunch of new knowledge on how to run successful social media campaigns, all thanks to Stukint as well as the Mimic Pro simulation. And I also know how to take bigger and better photos using concepts such as the rules of photography like lines, the rule of thirds, every time I stop to take a photo now, I have those concepts in my mind and it just leads to better photo taking than I ever thought I would be able to produce. So that is a little bit of my story with content publishing. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.